everyone, Wolfie here. This video is going to be about the new Worgen customization options as it stands of right now for the Shadowlands expansion. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate just how underwhelming the new options are in comparison to the other races. Hopefully, the end result will not become a catastrophe like the Worgen Heritage Armor. I understand that Shadowlands is not a finished product and that there was an interview where Anid stated that more options are going to be coming post Shadowlands launch. A link to this interview will be posted in the description down below. Blizzard as a whole has been silent when it comes to the Worgen and I pray that this video somehow reaches them along the way along with all the other feedback players have been giving throughout the years. I also want to say, if you haven't seen my previous Worgen video, please do so as I will be reiterating some of the points throughout this video. With that, let us get to it. Please note, I'm not exactly a video editor of any sort, so I do apologize for any quality issues in this video. I mean, I am making this with Audacity and Windows Movie Maker for crying out loud. Anyways, let's get to it. So far as it stands, the only things that Worgen are getting are new fur colors and new eye options. The males have the ability to customize their beards and ears separately and has one new ear option available. In summary, all we've gotten was across the board treatment and nothing particularly new and exciting compared to the other races. One thing to note about the eyes, Worgen are receiving a new predator looking eye which makes a Worgen look savage without the eye glow. To me, they look a bit cat-like, but this is a welcomed addition. I will say though that the interface for Worgen eyes in its current form is a bit clunky, but I will go over that later in this video. There is one final thing that Worgen players are getting which is a pretty huge deal. After all these years, players are finally able to customize their human counterparts, giving them full reign of customization for their character. There is one thing, however, I must point out. It is a very nice change, yes, don't get me wrong. To finally be able to customize our human forms with all the bells and whistles, but this is not the form players are in most of the time. I feel Worgen players are taxed because of this. In reality, this is more of a roleplay thing and sadly, role players are not the majority of the subscribers. People who do not roleplay will find this completely irrelevant to their experience. To make matters worse, imagine if the player is a death knight. The only new options they have available to them are the new fur options really. That's it. There are no new hairstyles, there are no new ears except for the one option for a male, no new facial hair, nothing. To me, that is incredibly underwhelming when you have the Tarn who have four manes, four paint, feathers, new horn styles and collars, new hairstyles, flowers, so forth. Or take a look at Night Elves. They got new hairstyles, vines, which can be customized, jewelry, circlets, so forth, so forth. In short, we are getting absolutely nothing new from Shadowlands. Sad to say, Worgen are not the only one who suffer from this disparity either. Kandaran and Goblins got minimal, but sadly, this video is going to be specifically addressing Worgen. Sorry guys! Let us take a moment to discuss on improving on what we already have. First thing that comes to mind are the fur colors. While the fur options are great, we still do not have a true black fur option. One option indeed does have black fur, but it is also accented with brown and white. I propose doing the same thing as the white fur, except make it a true black option for worgen players as well. Additional hairstyles, beards, and ears are pretty much a no-brainer in this mix. Personally, I love to see some longer hairstyles and have a four main option like the Taran do, but I will go over that in a later section of this video. When it comes to the ears, 
The males actually received one new style, but that is it. Honestly, I had been saying this for a long while. I really think that there should be some ear styles that actually sit on top of the head for both male and females. This actually resonates with their old alpha model. The current interface for eye selection is very cluttered and misleading for Worgen players. As it stands right now, there are currently three types of eyes a Worgen can choose from and they are as follows. Glowing, normal, and a new feral option. To make the selection process easier, I suggest that the eye type become an entirely independent category in itself. After choosing your desired eye type, you would go to its available eye color selection and choose accordingly. To give an example here, say you want your eyes to be the red feral eyes. There you would have a drop down menu for eye type and you would select feral. Then you would go to the eye color category and select red. Also, it is important for me to note that there is no purple version of the feral eyes and this absolutely makes me sad. One of the things that has bothered me with Shadowlands is the change to eye glows for Worgen. On live, the faces with eye glows have much more detail and the glow itself isn't oversaturated. The new eyes don't even look like a glow and seem to be incomplete. While I am pleased that female Worgen have access to all eye color glows, the finished product right now just looks highly unfinished and unappealing. I'm not sure if this was an oversight, but I will say that the glows we have on live are far better looking. Another thing I want to address is something that improves customization for races across the board. While heterochromia eyes are really cool, I feel they are too limited. You cannot truly pick which eye gets what color, nor do you have access to all of the colors. What I propose is that when it comes to the eye color option, there should be an option for right eye and left eye respectively. Letting the player choose each eye individually with all colors available will bring a better sense of customization. For Worgen in specific, there would be an extra eye option for eye type, which I described earlier should Blizzard actually go with this suggestion. Now we are going to go into some new features in which I would personally love to see Worgen receive. These are all brand new customization options just like jewelry, war paints, hair options, and other things we have not seen until Shadowlands. Starting off, one new thing to give Worgen are snout options. Much like our Volpera buddies, I think it would be really neat to see the same treatment. Not really much to expand on this, but I think it would be pretty neat to see different snoots on our puffers as it would give them a much more distinct look. Along with snout options, Worgen are not only known to have their sharp claws, but big fangs as well. Different canine options I think could make a Worgen player really stand out for both male and female. Imagine having multiple teeth sticking out, different sizes maybe. Maybe have a decorative tooth ring, or even a broken fang in the mix. Perhaps even an option to hide your canines entirely. Each option bring a different level of diversity among each other. Jewelry options seems to be quite the popular addition to many races so far. Per Blizzard's lore, the worgen that we play are of Gilnean origin. Gilneas has a very gothic or Victorian theme and, well, we know that the druids of Gilneas are known to be called Harvest Witches. Worgen 2 could benefit from such options as this could be a visual representation of their culture. To visualize the gothic culture of Gilneas, some jewelry options such as chokers with Victorian era filigree or motifs, like these images here, or even necklaces featuring either raven feathers or even skulls could really define the theming. Male Worgen could also have a feather or skull themed necklace too, or perhaps something like you would see from The Witcher, except Gilnean themed of course. Not only does this pertain to just necklaces, earrings could also be a welcome addition to Worgen as well, carrying out the same type of theme and perhaps even throwing in a few standard studs or hoops in the mix. To really give that true sense of roleplay immersion, you could make these new jewelry options available to our human form as well. 
and let this be a Morgan exclusive option. On the topic of our human counterpart, yes, I believe this is a grand opportunity to really take things to the next level for Morgan players. Along with these exclusive jewelry options I gave examples of, I personally would love to see an option for our human forms to show a Worgen bite sort of like how Elder Scrolls Online does it with their werewolf bite, with the option to even see this scar in Worgen form. Most Worgen became afflicted by a bite after all, let us role players have the option to show it. Finally, when it comes to the infamous scarred face for both male and female Worgen, I suggest that the scar itself be simply made into a toggle feature like how the Volterra earrings are. That way, the face scar can go on any face and not tied to one in specific. Another thing Blizzard could give attention to are the Worgen manes. It doesn't have to be anything grand, but I would like to see a little love given to this part of the model. I propose doing something like what the Night Elves have, except with leaves, we can do either braids, ponytails, maybe even some raven feathers throughout the mane, or, you know, just whatever. As I said, it doesn't have to be anything grand. Another cute little thing that Blizzard could add on are roses. I mean, Tarin got flowers, and Gilneas is all about rose and gothic themes. You could easily apply roses to, like, hairstyles, or do a simple rose on the ear, like what Tarin have, or even implement it in their jewelry. Or, even better, do all the above. Either way, roses. Roses are nice. Please add them. Please? Now we're going to finally start addressing the elephants in the room. No, I did sit elephants, as there are more than one, first being the posture. While I understand and appreciate Blizzard's take on their vision of what a worgen is based upon, their implementations have been less than desirable, if I'm to be honest. Both male and female are hunched. Too hunched. Males being the bigger offender, I'm not saying just outright give them a chiropractor, but just give players an option to have an upright model like what the orcs have. Just, it's just time for this to happen. When it comes to the females, their alpha model skeleton could be used as an option as it does make the female look straight, taller, and more appealing. Not to mention, adding an upright posture to both models would help them look more lore appropriate. They're supposed to be big after all, and we're kind of like hunched over and not looking good. So, yeah. Upright posture. Do it, Liz. We know you can do it. Now to address the second and loudest elephant in this room. You got it. Tails. Tails, 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 tails. This is, and has been, the absolute most requested feature from players and honestly, it's time for it to happen. Blizzard has stated that with these new customization models, they wanted to deliver what the player wants. To this day, September 28th, 2020, Blizzard has yet to deliver on that promise to us Worgen players. There is absolutely no reason at all to keep this from us anymore. None. I understand that some players will not want a tail, and that's perfectly fine. This is all about options. So if they don't want the tail, they don't have to choose it. People will argue it's against lore. Actually, there is no lore explicitly in Warcraft that states a worgen cannot have a tail. Christy Golden, author of Before the Storm, the prequel to Battle for Azeroth had wrote Gen having a tail. She did later on go on a Twitter and stated that it was a mistake and Worgen do not have tails. Keep in mind, at that time, she was just a writer for Blizzard. She is given the context of the story and it is her job to write the narrative. That is it. This point aside, my point still stands and I will say it again. Nothing in game explicitly states a Worgen cannot have a tail. No, it is lore breaking? The new Blood Elf skin colors. This has nothing to do with real life racism at all, and I'm going strictly upon what is written in Blizzard's own lore. 
There are many mediums out there from Blizzard that specifically states that when the Highborn were exiled from their Calderai brethren, their bodies evolved, their bodies shrunk, and their skin became devoid of their pigment. Dark skin is pigment. There is one dark skin elf in one of the Warcraft books, but it's not even a true elf. It's a dragon. So to me, that really does not count. Perhaps I'm delving too much into this lore business, but hey, we're at a time where player feedback is possibly heard. I personally don't mind the dark skinned elves at all, and I think they look neat even though they are lore breaking. I mean, also in Shadowlands, we're being introduced to a transgender NPC, which is also great. So after all that, is letting Morgan having a tail option that far fetched? I mean, if people are that stuck, on the lore, Blizzard could simply state that in wake of the destruction of the site, the worgen have become more honed in on their wolf side, some of them sprouting a tail in result. I actually went over this in my other video, check it out for more detail if you're curious. Let us not mention these wonderful creations done by Blizzard Entertainment themselves, each depicting a worgen with a tail on their own mediums and published nonetheless. It is clearly indicated that people think that Worgen should have tails even though they are a quote unquote mistake. Another counter argument to tails is the whole werewolves do not have tails. I am just going to leave this here for you. Still not convinced? Well, when it comes to tails, personally I think the model looks whole, balanced, and complete. This is something a majority of Worgen players have wanted and are currently fighting for on the forums. Just google search Give Worgen Tails and you will see a thread with over 4,000 posts, myself included in the crusade as I have been advocating tails since the alpha of Cataclysm. Should we actually get our tails, Blizzard could even add customization options to it, much akin to the Draenei. No tail, short tail, normal tail, long tail, fluffy or standard, even perhaps add more leather straps like shown here. Honestly, just having a tail option even if it's just a standard wolf's tail would make me happy. In fact, even if they simply gave Worgen the tail option and cut everything else out, I'd be happy. It's been one of the absolute things I have wanted for almost a decade. I wanted it so bad, I even voiced my passion for Worgen at BlizzCon. are some of the other customization options that we can look forward to for our WoW characters? That's a great question. <laughs> so customization, customization is obviously something that we've been talking about for a long time, that you have been talking about for a long time, and we're really happy to finally be able to do something about it. Um, so one of the other races uh, that we're working pretty heavily on right now is Blood Elves, and we'll see... Uh, <laughs> yep. um, more than 40 additional customizations for them. Uh, across male and female. Um, additionally, we showed some examples of the races that we've worked on currently, uh, you know, wild hammer dwarves, for example. Uh, we also showed some examples of humans. And I want to reassure everybody that was just a small sampling of what we're going to offer. Uh, specifically in regards to humans, we want to offer a diversity that really represents what you can find in the real world so that you can truly represent yourself in the game 
and really find that character that speaks to you, that represents you as a person. Uh, we're extremely happy to be able to do this finally, and we hope that you all enjoy it tremendously. Awesome, thank you. How about a... a Awesome, thank you. How about a, a So as we come to an end, I want to show you all one final thing. Imagine going from this model to this. While I am not a model artist by any means, I cannot help but thank Sheer X for all the hard work. This right here is what I believe a worgen should look like. Note the ears on top of the head, the alpha female model skeleton, the choker, and of course, the tail. I'm not saying change the model completely, just give us the option. That is all we have been wanting. What we have now going into Shadowlands is just incredibly underwhelming compared to other races. So please, Blizzard, I really hope you are not done with Worgen, and for the last time, I am reaching out to plead my case. The silent treatment that we have been given has been incredibly frustrating and absolutely demoralizing. I have spent hours upon hours making art making suggestions on the forums, making suggestions on the beta, giving the fullest details. I have shown my passion throughout every expansion about the Worgen model. I pray that this time, us Worgen players will finally come out as a winner after a 10 year wait. I really do believe that if Blizzard gave more care to the Worgen models, people would absolutely splurge in race changes. I know I would. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the Shadowlands.